There is no denying that stock market is historically overvalued. No matter what ratio or indicator you look at, S&P 500 is overvalued. Given the current valuations, stock valuations that lead to the historic crash of 1930 and 1999 look cheap today. I'm not a bear market fear monger, but portray doom and gloom scenarios. At the moment, I have no short position, but given the high valuations, I have prudently changed my strategy. In this video, I will discuss three strong buy rating stocks that can make you handsome money whether you are in a crash, correction or rally phase. Like the video and press the subscribe and bell notification buttons to help support the channel. Your support really means a lot to me. I trade in my favorite stock that I fully understand and I am making handsome money through options. For example, I understand Sava stock and as per analysis, I don't expect it to fall to $80 by August 27th. So I sold 10 put options on Thursday for 540 premium per contract for 80 strike and August 27th expiry and in total pocketed 5400 in weekly premium. Now you would be surprised to know that my put options are already in 60% profit. Imagine making $5400 in one week. Premium on Sava stock is really juicy. You can copy these trades with me as I share these trades the same time I execute them on my private discord server. Similarly, I know Xpeng stock and knew that it usually bounces back from its trendline support level. So after identifying support level of 37, I sold weekly put options expiring August 20 and pocketed handsome premium. And as expected, Xpeng bounced back from 37 and my puts expired worthless. And I kept the premium for free. I share these trades the same time I execute them on my private Discord server. If you're interested to join, then link to join is given in the description below. Now let's discuss our first stock and that is none other than Tesla Incorporation ticker symbol TSLA. One can make handsome money on Tesla stock by playing both ways. Taking benefit of the dip by selling low probability put options and when Tesla is stretched on the charts you can sell covered calls. When Tesla jumped to 720 plus I sold covered calls and when it dipped to 660 to 670 range we sold low probability weekly put options and pocketed handsome premium. If you have seen my previous videos on Tesla, then you know that I recommend avoiding the China and Michael Berry noise. I have a buy the dip stance on Tesla that so far has proved correct. On May 17, 2020, Big Short's Michael Berry announced via tweet that he bet against Tesla. This tweet brought a temporary slump of $529 per share due to the panic sell off. But you can see the share price surge since the dip for $529 to $729. Now how serious Burby's tweet was taken by the investors. It could be seen that the share price of Tesla surged around $200 per share since Burby's tweet of August 13, 2021. But those who took the dip of $529 on May 19, 2021 as buying opportunity and bought the positions in Tesla stock must have pocketed a gain of around $200 per share in less than three months time. Now again after the unassertive strategy, Michael Burry shorted Cathie Wood's ARK Innovation ETF named ARKK. As Tesla has biggest position in ARK ETF of over 3.2 million shares, so the Burry's recent bet on ARK was taken indirectly against Tesla and again due to the panic sell off the share price dived to $648 per share on that day. But like the previous unasserted move of Burry, the stock started surging and now trading around 700 per share. Just recall the stock behavior on Burry's previous tweet where it surged around $200 in less than 3 months. It is again knocking the door to buy a dip whereas the stock is on the linear growth track and would hit the new highs on its upcoming catalyst during this quarter and the next. First surprise being the approval of bipartisan infrastructure bill to rebuild the US infrastructure including $7.5 billion to create the first federal network of charging stations for electric vehicles. This electric vehicles charging station network to bring a revolution for EVs and Tesla being the US market leader would ultimately be one of the major beneficiary of the infrastructure plan. Tesla hosted AI Day on Thursday night to showcase its progress in the use of artificial intelligence. Elon Musk announced that Tesla is to build a humanoid robot that will have a prototype next year. Musk revealed what this upcoming robot will do. It's basically going to start dealing with work that is boring, repetitive and dangerous. 
Musk said of the Tesla robot, what is the work that people would least like to do? Though the details about this proposed robot haven't been disclosed by the Musk, but diversification from electric cars, energy solutions to renewable sources, power walls, upcoming battery efficiency to now developing a robot would bring the Tesla to another world and surely generate an other revenue stream for it. Tesla is a D-Risk stock ready to take off. Just a little ignition is required from new side. Any update on cyber truck production will make it move like a rocket ship. Apart from Tesla's continuous driving on innovation, the company's operating and financial performance is incredible. Tesla's penetration in Chinese market is one out of many factors which distinguishes Tesla from the rivals. You will be surprised to know that Tesla has sold more than double EVs to Chinese customers in the month of June 2021 than the Volkswagen total sales during second quarter 2021. Volkswagen sold 12,041 EVs in China during quarter 2 2021, whereas Tesla sold 28,138 EVs in China during the single month of June 2021. With these record deliveries, Tesla revenue during quarter 2 2021 has been up by 157% year-over-year basis. Tesla has become such a stock that investors are now of a view that missing the Tesla dip means missing a big opportunity. Tesla's quarter 2 2021 earnings were also impressive. The company could generate $11.96 billion revenue during quarter 2 2021, which represent 98% increase year-over-year -year basis, whereas the total gross margin has been up by 128% year-over-year basis. Next on the list is Chinese premium automaker NIO Incorporation ticker symbol NIO. China is the largest market for battery-powered electric vehicles, also known as BEVs and hybrid passenger cars. China is expected to sell 24 million EVs in 2030. The future of EVs in Chinese market is bright. The founder of BYD, Wang Chuanfei, said in a conference that EVs would account for 70% of China's new car sales by 2030, whereas NIO founder William Li anticipates this dominance by 90%. NIO would be among major beneficiaries of these growing numbers of EVs in Chinese market. NIO's continuous improvement in unit sales is showing the customer's interest and confidence over NIO's premium electric cars and will push the sales to new highs. NIO is still undervalued if compared with the improvement in deliveries and earnings. Chinese government is aggressively supporting Chinese EV makers. Major 20 cities of China which has largest car sales including Shanghai, Beijing, Wuhan, and Guangzhou have implemented a broad array of EV promotion policies. NIO has released unaudited second quarter earnings on August 12, 2021. NIO reported the revenue of over 8.4 billion RMB or 1.3 billion US dollars, which represent 127.2% increase year over year and 5.8% quarter over quarter. The gross margin has been up impressively year over year by 402.7% to RMB 1.5 billion or 243.8 million US dollars. The vehicle sales has been reported 94% of the total revenue of 7.9 billion RMB or 1.2 billion US dollars during quarter 2 2021. Now that represents 127% increase year over year and around 7% increase quarter over quarter. The vehicle's margin remained 20.3% during quarter 2 2021 as compared to 9.7% in same quarter last year. NIO is on its track of improving its deliveries every month, which is bringing each quarter to the new levels of improvement. NIO delivered 7,931 vehicles during the month of July 2021, representing a strong growth of 124.5% year over year. This continuous growth in NIO's EV sales shows the customer trust over NEO. Seven Wall Street analysts offered an average price target of $66.01 per share, which is over 77.83% up from the current price, whereas the highest price target for NEO by these analysts is $72 per share, which is over 94% up from the current price. So NEO is a safe stock and should be bought on dips or you can sell put options to take benefit of the panic and pocket handsome premium. Next on the list is another Chinese EV maker, Xpeng Incorporation ticker symbol XPEV. 
Xpeng is a hyper growth stock and now with the planned launch of its affordable $25,000 EV, Xpeng is embarking on the mass market domination strategy. Even with existing models, Xpeng reported incredible deliveries during quarter 2 2021. You'll be surprised to know Xpeng has delivered 439% more units as compared to the same quarter of previous year. Company's aggressive delivery performance is indicating that it will continue to improve its top-line performance in future. July 2021 has been a record month for Xpeng in terms of vehicle deliveries. The company delivered 8,040 vehicles during this month, which represent a 228% increase year over year. Those deliveries made a total of 38,778 units delivered since January 1, 2021 making an increase of 388% year over year. Above these promising deliveries, the key number to note that during July 2021, the company's Model P7 hit the highest monthly deliveries of 6,054 units since it was launched. This highest hit Model P7 has also achieved 5-star safety rating in China's latest CNCAP safety test. Company's another model G3 is one of the oldest model but the company's transformation of G3 to G3i has made it more attractive for customers. G3i is a smart SUV which has been launched three weeks ago. G3 model has also been ranked top quality compact battery powered EV in JD Power 2021 study. During July 2021, the company delivered 1,986 units of its smart compact SUV G3. The addition of the smart SUV compact would lift the company's sales to a new level. The upcoming catalyst for Xpeng is that the company is to launch its new smart sedan P5 in quarter 3 2021. The company has also announced the price range of its upcoming P5 sedan model that ranges from 160,000 RMB to 230,000 RMB. That means starting from $25,000. You can imagine that this level of cheap EV would beat many EVs in the market and will catch the market segment which wasn't addressed by the other EVs like Tesla. The seven Wall Street analysts offered an average price target of $55 per share, which is over 40% up from the current price, whereas the highest price target for Xpeng by these analysts is $72 per share, which is again over 86% up from the current price.